would describe my approach to patient care uh, as one that encompasses the osteopathic principles that I learned in medical school that we have to consider patient's mind, body, and spirit when developing their uh, treatment plan. So we should consider patient's uh, socioeconomic backgrounds, their cultural backgrounds, their spiritual backgrounds, and, and look at that and reflect upon that as we decide in conjunction with the patient how best to treat them. I think the best thing I ever learned, and I learned it fairly early on in my medical career, was to listen. And it came from both patients and my colleagues, but I had a you know, particular patient experience where you're trying to get through that busy appointment and you're trying to focus the patient and say, okay, well, I want to talk about this, this, and this, and to have them say, well, doctor, this is what I want to talk about today. And this is what's important to me. And to remember that patients, yes, we have to address all of their medical uh, needs or chronic medical conditions, but sometimes they come in and all they want to do is talk to you about something else that happened at home and that that is as important and maybe the most important part of their encounter is that we give them the time and, and the respect to listen to them. The most rewarding thing about my job is really having uh, made that patient connection. Uh, that they, you know, the smile you get, the thank you you get, the um, I feel as if you, again, listen to me, that you've taken care of me, that uh, you addressed my needs. I think that's the biggest reward of anything that we do is just having the patient reflect back to you that they felt heard and they felt taken care of.